Fighting crime, grime, and blight. That is the goal of the Taking It to the Streets effort in Wilkesbury. City officials converged on the South Side neighborhood today, and our lead IT reporter, Andy Mahalshik, was there. He joins us live from that neighborhood tonight with more. Andy? Well, good evening, Nick. We are on Westminster Street in the city's south side. This area has had more than a share of problems, including crime, shootings, drug dealings, and dilapidated buildings like this one. Several of them. In fact, this one, the mayor told me today, will be torn down. This effort today is designed to make this neighborhood and other neighborhoods throughout the Diamond City cleaner and safer places to live. We are taking back the streets from trash, blight, and crime. In order to do this, we need the help of our residents. Police officers, firefighters, code and health officers walked through the Westminster Street neighborhood Wednesday looking for problems like this. And you can see what's going on. We constantly monitor things like this and we cite the, the owners. And the woman who lives here got quite a surprise when she saw all of the activity. Today, there's going to be a sticker on the door for a fine by the health department for all the, uh, for the garbage. So that's going to have to be paid immediately. Miss, what do you think about all this trash here? I mean, are you saying it's not your trash here? You're not sure where this trash came from? No, well, this is going out today. This is this is boxes in that, that I just did my house with. That's going out in the trash today. The mayor says they are trying a new tactic this year to prevent this type of mess. We normally cited the tenants. Now we cite the tenants and the homeowners. So if somebody's out of town, they're going to get a citation. But this operation is also about fighting crime and preventing fires. That's the only way we can get things done, by the help of the neighbors within the neighborhoods. Because they're there every day, they see what's going on, they know what the problems are in their neighborhoods. And with these kinds of uh, operations, it lets us know. Well, anything to keep our neighborhood safe, fire code violations, anything that might be out of the ordinary, uh, grills that aren't in there at the right position and place. Now, we're told that today alone, in this one-day operation, two dozen citations were handed out for things like dilapidated buildings and vacant abandoned vehicles. That operation will be held in other parts of the Diamond City. Reporting in South Wilkesbury, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. All right, Andy, thank you. And this is the third year for the effort. In the first year, 350 citations were handed out citywide. That number has declined to 260 last year. And the mayor believes that that difference shows that people really are paying attention and they're cleaning up their properties.